I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Ten Houser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. Time to die. Hi, welcome to Gamers Web. My name is Mark, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the Blade Runner, the role playing game starter set from Free League Publishing. Uh, this is the first video of 2023, so Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank anybody returning. Um, it means a lot that you come back uh, to watch my videos and listen to me waffle on. And also, I'd very much like to thank um, Bo from Free League Publishing for uh, this review copy. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. So, Blade Runner. Um, one of the most iconic movies of all time, um, based on the Philip K. Dick novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, starring Harrison Ford, Rutger Hauer, uh, Rachel Wood, um, Daryl Hannah, um, lots and lots of other famous people whose names I can't remember offhand, but a very famous movie, and um, it's one of the, the first proper cyberpunk movies. Um, the novel itself is very famous, um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, although it's not actually called Blade Runner, um, by Philip K. Dick. Okay, so what we get here is a homage to this um, beautiful thing. Okay, so uh, this is the starter set for the official Blade Runner role-playing game, a neon noir wonderland that will take your breath away one way or another, an evocative world of conflicts and contrast that does to ask the hard questions and investigate the power of empathy the poison of fear and the burden of human being, oh sorry, being human during inhuman times. An iconic and unforgiving playing ground of endless possibilities that picks you up, ships, slaps you in the face and tells you to wake up. Time to live or time to die. Uh, this box set contains everything you need to start playing, an 80 page condensed rule book. The game mechanics are based on the acclaimed Year, year Zero engine. Uh, but fully developed and uniquely tailored for Blade Runner. 50 page booklet entitled Electric Dreams, the first full length case file for Blade Runners to crack, four pre generated characters to play, a huge full color map of Los Angeles in 2037 to uh, 864 by 558 millimeters, 26 uh, full color evidence handouts for players to pour over, including crime scene photos, data files, documents, maps, and more. Custom manila envelope for players to keep their evidence safe in. Time track sheet, 70 high quality custom cards for non player characters, chase maneuvers, obstacles, and initiative in combat, and eight engraved transparent custom dice, two of each D6, D8, D10, and D12. Okay, so use it as it says on the back, it uses the um, Year Zero engine which is the same engine that is used in a lot of games from Free League, um, including the excellent um, Alien role-playing game, and also um, Twilight 2000. So um, let's just crack it. Right, so um, I've been dying to get my hands on this for a long time because um, Blade Runner uh, is one of my favourite movies. I'm not really too keen on the, 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 the follow-up, but Blade Runner is one of my favourite movies of all time. Now, obviously this being a free league product, you know that you're going to get decent quality right from the off, because they pack their stuff with such great attention to detail, and it's always filled with lots of, lots of good stuff. Okay, so um, nice artwork on the cover. Very, very free league, which is really good. And straight off the bat, we get a set of dice, which all have a little... Icon each of them, 
So we've got like a an, an I on the six and the eight, on the nine. I don't know what the icons mean until I look further in. And there's, um, as you can see, there's 2D6, 2D8, 2D10, 2D12. Our uh, playing cards, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, two little packs of silica gel, which need to be disposed of carefully. Um, our games catalogue from Free League, which features things like Tales in the Loop and Alien and um, Vassen and um, Cyborium and lots of other cool stuff. And then we get our rule book, our case file, and then our extras. So just have a quick look at the rule book and then we'll come back to the other parts in a moment. Right, so move these out of the way. Right, so, um, so, uh, Thomas, Thomas Harrison, uh, Arnestam, please forgive me for mispronouncing the name there, Thomas. Um, he's the um, lead designer on this. He's also the main man at um, Free League as well. Um, he's also one of the main writers on the game. Okay, so um, we've got uh, Tears in the Rain. He's our first uh, introduction, um, which if you saw the intro, you'll see that I used the probably one of the most iconic lines in cinematic history, spoken by Rutger Hauer, and it was improvised there, Tears in the Rain, from Blade Runner's closing moments. Uh, you're Blade Runner, skills and specialities, combat and chases, working the case, and tools of the trade. And then we have our um, artwork. Absolutely amazing. You know what the score, pal. If you're not cop, if you're not cop, you're in a little people. Mm. Okay, okay, and then uh, quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? Another Rutger Hauer quote. Okay, so um, playing as a Blade Runner um, tells you the timeline of Blade Runner from 1980 right up to 2037. Now, if we're watching the movie, we are about here which is um, 19, 2019, which is when the Blade Runner movie is set. And obviously Blade Runner 2049 is set in 2049. So it's set before that one. Um, this gives us a bit more of an intuition on what we've got coming up. So the electric dreams, how to measure time, um, what to do with your handouts. Your, is this your first tabletop role playing game? If so, read this, it tells you. As always, with um, Free League stuff, you get the small shout outs here. Um, we panels that tell you uh, how to use your dice conventions and stuff like that. And we have a unit of time, so uh, around is 10 to 50, 5 to 10 seconds for combat, and uh, 5 to 10 hours is a shift for investigation. Okay, and um, this is just basically a quick look through. Um, so you're a Blade Runner, designing your character, your core concept, concepts of your character. Now, um, where we got uh, the starting gear. Now, the core rule book goes more into um, the character generation than this um, this book does, by a long way. Rolling your dice. Um, using group roles so you can get help from others to actually accomplish um, achievements much the same way as you can in um, Alien and also in um, Twilight 2000 and The Long Ring. Skills, um, specialties, combat and chases, lots of really cool artwork, ranged combat, close combat, Obviously, you don't want to get into combat with a replicant because they're designed to actually uh, take a lot of damage and dish out a lot of damage. Stress, which is a very important factor in the game because stress can uh, make it so your character either acts irrationally or uh, bottles things accidentally. Uh, hazards, falling, explosions, um, drowning, fire. Very similar to Alien, where you have... Um, the similar type of tables that tell you what kind of damage you can take. Chases, car chases, spinners, which are the flying cars, the real vehicles. Um, running versus vehicle, as in a Blade Runner versus a vehicle. Uh, firing from vehicles, working the case. So this is basically um, your first introduction to um, uh, 
the Los Angeles Police Department's resources. So um, tells you how to uh, work out what you need for your uh, your investigations, calling dispatch, playing to your strengths, following the scent, leveraging your assets, and the tools of the trade. So this is just basically to get you into uh, your uh, your character background. Uh, Voight Kampf machine, which basically tells if you're a replicant or not. Baseline test, taking a baseline test, how it works. So tell me about your mother. Let me tell you about my mother. Then you have your uh, your basic weapons. So you've got like uh, a 357 Magnum, a 357 Subcompact. Then you've got like your uh, PKD, which is the uh, weapon that um, uh, Ruger. Uh, God, my brain's gone. Uh, Harrison Ford's character Deckard uses a PKD blaster in uh, Blade Runner. Quite an iconic looking gun. And there we've got another one. And um, all in all, pretty cool. Lots of nice looking stuff. And we've got uh, various vehicles and stuff. And a seagull flying overhead. <laughs> so detective spinners, uh, spinners, squad spinner, lands, LAPD spinner. And then that's the end of the first one, the Free League. Um, we'll go on the back then our next book if I can get in so much stuff in this box all right so our next book is the uh, first case file so I'm just going to flip through this because I don't want to give anything away but you can just see some of the artwork fantastic yeah. kill massacre nightclub row or oh, kill massacre on nightclub row a replicant killer on the run heartbreaker check out the new ender assault rifle competition you can win a guard dog <laughs> wow and then some of the NPCs like Lilith Tibble there so that's your adventure which I'm not going to go through because obviously I don't want to spoil that for um, people who may want to play then we have a Manila, 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 Manila envelope it's not easy to say <laughs> and inside this envelope we uh, this is for your characters to keep all the, the documentation safe We've got loads and loads of stuff. We have got um, handouts for your adventure. Look at that. There's an off-world way. A new life awaits you in the off-world colony. There's a chance to be begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Uh, Shimago Domin Corp or Dominuco Arcadia. There for the adventure. There's some biopics there, which I'm not going to go over because they're part of the adventure. And then. Synth, Magazine of Recent Industry, um, and other handouts like, you know, the first page of a newspaper, and uh, uh, Kill Massacre on Nightclub Row. Right, so I'm not going to go through those as well, because um, they're going to be giving away too much information for the actual adventure, and I'd rather people come at it fresh and not have it spoiled by a fat, bald, and idiot on the internet who is making a video that would be me by the way um, right and then there's a postcard mm, greetings from Hollywood which obviously has some reference and then more um, player handouts there right then finally we have um, four uh, character dossiers these are NPC characters, so you've got William Novak, uh, Olsen Baker, um, FN9 uh, Fina, who I would imagine is an replicant, and then um, Percival, who's also a replicant. I would imagine, although I couldn't say to that without actually reading through them, because I've not read through that yet. A blank character sheet. We have um, a Jupiter Moon Buzz, so handout as usual, like all the the cool stuff that uh, they do at Free League. It's ideal for when you're gaming. Then we have uh, the Hollywood sign, Kill Magazine headquarters, the Snake Pit, uh, the Memory Lab, and Almond Raw. So they're all maps, and they're all double-sided as well. Oh no, they're not, not real sorry, sorry, forgive me. Um, 
I'm so used to them being double sided from Freely, uh, but they're all um, labelled with all the key locations on them. And I suppose you could actually use those for um, Alien as well. Right, and then we have our map of Los Angeles, which is a big one, so various sectors, sectors 1 through 12. So I'm um, trying to see if I can find where the Air College is. Uh, the Tiller Corporation Air College is here, I think, which is one of the biggest buildings in the world, or it could actually be there, Little Wallace. And then on the back, just a play area that you can put miniatures down on, so it's not double sided. But still, pretty good, and all in all, it looks fantastic. Right, so that's my quick look at um, the Blade Runner uh, starter set. I'm just going to pop all this stuff back into the box. All right, so that's my quick look at the Blade Runner starter set from Free League. And once again, uh, my many thanks to Bull for um, the complimentary copy. Um, really means a lot. Oh, actually, I have one thing I've missed out. Show you these very, very quickly. Don't want to go through all of them because there's quite a lot of them, and I'll try and keep this video short because I've got to complain that my videos are way too long. Okay, so um, we do have all the cards. So you've got these cards here. They have um, character um, ar archetypes on the front, on the back. So you've got the, the image of the character on the front and on the back. Um, it's a mug shot. A mug shot E. So they're all mug shots. They're part of one of the adventures, and then um, yeah, they're all they're all uh, mug shots. You can use them for various things. Initiative order. Um, on the back of them, they actually say initiative. Then we turn over, and we have things like um, events, so like an aerial obstacle chase, um, which says on it, uh, lightning strikes the prey may a prey pursuer is a hit. Uh, equal chance for each. Spinner loses all power and the driver must make a tech roll to reboot the spinner's systems and prevent a crash. Even on a success, the manoeuvre um, chosen this, for this round fails. Right, so quite cool. There's quite a lot of those. And then you've got chess manoeuvres, foot and obstacle manoeuvres. Um, no equipment for some reason because uh, all the other games have had equipment in the cards. But no equipment there. But anyway, that's uh, a quick look through the um, starter set of one of one of the most iconic movies of all time. You know, um, uh, it's hard to believe that Blade Runner is forty years old now. The movie's forty years old. It's hard to believe that because it still seems as fresh. You now I only watched it recently. And obviously, um, it's given us some great moments. Uh, most notably, Rutger Hauer introduced the world to Hulk, Rutger Hauer properly. And the guy was a genius, a brilliant actor, and sadly missed. And one of my favourite actors of all time. And uh, capturing that essence is not easy. But I think, having read through some of the rules uh, already, that... Um, Freely really have managed to, and Thomas have really managed to capture the essence of uh, Philip K. Dick's um, novel and also of uh, Roland Scott's Blade Runner. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm trying to keep it short if I can. And um, we'll be back with another video soon. I'm going to take another look at the full role playing game very shortly and the Games Master screen uh, once again from Freely. And um, until then, no matter where you are in the world, please stay safe, look after yourself. Once again, Happy New Year, and um, keep rolling those dice high. I've been Mark, and hope to speak to you soon. Bye.